Sometimes people ask me, is it a mitzvah to live in Israel? And I think, is it a mitzvah to breathe? I mean, anybody who just opens a Bible, just open the Bible. And if you can come to any other conclusion other than the fact that God wants us in Israel, just read it again. It's well beyond a mitzvah. It's not a mitzvah. It's just existence. We just read in this week's portion a whole series of tragedies that include the enemy coming and death and famine. It reaches the situation where people eat the meat of their children because they don't have anything to eat. And what is the worst calamity at the end of everything if we still just think that God is circumstantial and we don't understand what God is doing? What is the worst of all of them? The worst of all of them is a free trip for two to a vacation outside of Israel. That the Jewish people will be exiled. Exile is a punishment. It's not a reward. And it's very clear that the time when the Jewish people are out of Israel, this is when God is angry with the Jewish people. When the Jewish people return to Israel, this is when God is happy with the Jewish people. God tells Abraham, go. He brings him to Israel. He promises Isaac that Israel will be our land. He gives this blessing to Jacob and says that all of these lands will be yours. The children of Israel leave Egypt in order to come to Israel. This is where we build the temple. This is where we mourn over the destruction of the temple. This is where we return during the second temple period. And again, the Jewish people have finally revitalized, returned to Eretz Israel. It's obvious, it's obvious that this is where God wants everyone, all of the Jewish people to be.